Hi everybody, my name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a plan with me from the 14th of November to the 20th of November. And I just wanted to forewarn you that my daughter is awake. I did sleep in today and uh, my kids are both awake. My son is playing Fortnite and my daughter is watching her iPhone. So I'm probably going to have trouble editing this because I'm going to have to edit out all the noises after, but um, I just wanted to, to let you guys know. So um, I want to start planning and uh, the first task at hand is to always go to my routine tab here so I pull up my weekly task card and we'll review my goals um, I do have another compass card back here I can use I can't remember if I only put one in I think I did so that was the first time I had to tell my son to quiet down because he wears headphones so he can't always hear and he's extra loud so I'm going to highlight as I go here I'll use my teal highlighter or my aqua highlighter from Mile Liner just to show what I've done. So um, journaling, I have not been consistent with doing it twice a day. I have only done it in the morning, but I have been um, doing it every morning. So I mean, that's consistent, but one of my routines is really to try to journal in the morning and at night. So my husband left, just today I'm filming this video Friday. Today is Friday the 11th, Remembrance Day. And uh, my husband left on Tuesday, so I'm really going to try going forward to do that. I will cross it off because it's not like I haven't been journaling. I journal consistently. I've done that my entire life, right? So um, it's not something that I don't do. It's every single day. Just I want to also do like a night calming routine where I have my cup of sleepy time tea. Um, I kind of look at it as an extra hydrator because I haven't been consistently drinking my five bottles of water every day. So I feel like that kind of adds to my, you know, my water intake. So that's part of the reason too, because it's known that to create a new habit, you should add it to a habit that you're already consistent with. So um, anyway, that, that's that. <laughs> As for books, um, I'm going to show you the goal page if I remember on the, the monthly, but um, I have been reading consistently every day, probably about half an hour every day. So I'm almost done Outlander. This has like been my favorite book so far, like not out of the Outlander series, I would say, but just, I've really been enjoying reading this book during the day. I don't know why. Every time I have breakfast or lunch, I just like to read while I'm eating. It's kind of a weird habit, but yeah, I do. Um, I'm probably a dangerous one at that because then that means every time I read, I'm craving something to eat but um that's not always the case i just like to read while i'm eating so i am trying to finish this book by the end of the month and i've got a couple of other books on my list to read so once this is done i will start on those okay so i'm gonna cross that one off uh water i've only been drinking about two bottles a day hasn't really been including um like I do drink other things. So I drink a glass of milk every day. I drink two cups of sleepy time tea every day. I drink um, black tea, which is probably not the greatest for me, but I love my cup of black tea after supper. Um, usually it's like a Tetley strawberry flavor or it's like Earl Grey has been my all time favorite right now. I did get some, am I saying this right? Darjeeling tea, but I don't really like it. The one time I had it, it got really sick. Um, it was right before I got sick last week and I'm kind of grossed out by it now, but uh, Earl Grey has been my favorite. So um, with my mom, we had a good visit while she was here. She was here at the baby shower. We ended up having the baby shower, which was, it actually, sorry, it actually ended up being a positive experience. Everybody came that could come and um, yeah, it, it, was, it was pretty good. So with my mom, we ended up going to Ikea to get a bookshelf for her for her present. So she already has her present. I just have to get her a card. Her birthday is actually on Monday of this week. Um, baby clothes I have not touched at all. Um, but I did cut my son's hair the day before yesterday. Um, I gave the stroller to my father-in-law. He's going to fix the wheels. I haven't cleaned it up, but as soon as he returns it, I'll clean it. Sticker freebies, I did do that, but I have not marketed for my sale yet. I should really get on that. Sephora haul, I did get that, and I'm actually going to finish editing that video today, and that video will be up on Monday. Holiday bucket list, I have not worked on it. I ended up doing the sticker freebies. Homeowner, I cleaned and sanitized after all of us were sick. My husband did not end up getting sick, which is crazy. Thought for sure he would. My mom did not. She ended up getting sick, but she didn't throw up. So, which is weird. So I think it was something else. So she probably had like food poisoning. Um, but we, 
mm -mm, me and the two kids were sick, like really bad. Rubbermaids haven't touched. Whooping cough, I have to do that. At least I should do that before my appointment next Friday. On the 18th, I have a doctor's appointment. Picks of planners and purses for Facebook buy and sell. I have not done that. I have started doing my online shopping, so that's good. And I did make an Xmas present plan. So I have like everybody's gifts um, written out, a budget for everybody, and we're good to go there. Um, quite a few things that I've done, so I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. So... I think what I'll do is I'll try to keep the same categories. I'm, I'll, I'll just kind of see this week because of course, like my list changes all the time. So I'll go ahead and look at my week. Maybe let's look at the week first because honestly, at this point, I'm kind of like, hmm, I can't remember what I have to do. I know I have a couple of birthdays. My mom's birthday is on the Monday. My niece's birthday is on the Wednesday, but we're having a party for her the Sunday after that. So let's look at that first. Um, I usually look at the calendar to schedule my week, but here's the, the kind of goals I had set for the month. Um, baby prep. So I might want to start cleaning the bassinet and get that ready to go. Um, and I really do want to work on the Rubbermaid containers in the basement. I just haven't been able to get down there. Like my daughter doesn't sleep anymore. So the only way to do it would be to bring her down there. But I'm afraid that if she comes across a spider, she might like pick it up and eat it or something. Like, I don't think she would. She knows what they are now. But like, I just, I don't really want her down there with the creepy crawlies. We have tons of spiders in our basement. Um, it creeps me out because I am, I do not like spiders. <laughs> And I don't really want to spend time down there. That's why I like to bring the containers upstairs, go through it up here, but I can't really lift anything and carry it up the stairs. So I don't know how that will work. Um, and my mom's been pretty busy. And so she can't really help me much. Um, Xmas shopping starts. I cross that off. I haven't marketed for my Black Friday shop sale, but I do need to do that. So that's a priority. So I'll probably put that as a CEO role. And then... Um, books. I haven't done that. I might just cross off the Facebook buy and sell because honestly, I just, there's other things that take priority and I just don't have time for it right now. Um, yeah, my mom's birthday is on Monday. And then these are the books. It was just funny. I don't even have Outlander on here. <laughs> uh, the seven habits is kind of dry. I'm not even sure if I'll, if I'll read it, to be honest. I've tried, I've tried to get into it and it just doesn't, it's not working for me. Okay. Um, let's see for the week. So I said the 14th to the 20th. So my mom's birthday, my son's on fall break until Tuesday. Alora's birthday. So I'll probably just call and we'll sing happy birthday, but then we'll see them on the Sunday paid. Um, so I'll be doing my regular work thing functions throughout the week. Of course, paid on Thursday. That'll be a good paycheck. Uh, actually, no, it won't be the best paycheck. This one will be a good paycheck. Um, my OBGYN appointments on the 18th compost day for that and that's pretty much it so nothing like and I've already ordered her present I ordered it on Amazon it came yesterday I just need to get like a little birthday card from the dollar store I have this thing about cards you know how like when you go to Walmart or Target or something cards are like ten dollars now can you guys believe it like my mom likes those like like poems and stuff and cards, but like $10 for a piece of paper that you're going to be throwing out. It's ridiculous, right? So I've been, my family and I have started going to the dollar store. Sometimes I make my own if I have the time, but if I don't, I go to the dollar store and get a dollar card. And some of those still are pretty nice and they have nice sayings in them. So I've been doing that because I'm not paying $10 for a card that just gets put in the garbage after. So anyway, so that's, that's my week. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do new goals. I just want to see um, what I have for the month here. I should also start think start thinking about the optometrist appointments because my kids most likely don't need glasses, but they do need to get their eyes checked. So, um, and I wouldn't mind packing my diaper bag. There's just been some issues um, at the baby shower. I didn't get everything that I needed. Um, basically, nobody really bought a gift except my mom and my sister <laughs> and my grandma. Um, my mom gave me money, my aunt gave me money, and then everybody else well, my sister-in-law gave me a gift card for Walmart, which I don't really need anything at Walmart. I need stuff from Amazon, actually. And then nobody else got me anything, <laughs> which and it's not about like getting stuff. But because my husband is off for three weeks at Christmas, we're going to have a very difficult time. And the baby's coming at that time. We're going to have a difficult time to pay for stuff. And so if we do need stuff for the baby, I'm not going to be able to buy it. And so... <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I, it just, it strikes me as weird. You make a registry and then nobody buys anything on the registry <laughs> for the baby shower. So, yeah, I don't know that maybe that's just a me thing, but it, it just, it's one of those things that you're like, why? I am going to go ahead and fill in my compass card and um, we will go from there. Taking turns, not a lesson learned. Who'd imagined I would crash and burn? But you got me there, so I'm declaring a silent war. Can't do it anymore. This is not what I was asking for. But you got me here, then you. Okay, so I think that's it for now, you guys. I just put a whole bunch of stuff on here that is priority that I had to get done. So I will be doing some new videos. I have to think about, because I mean, today's already the 11th. I have to start thinking about um, a lot of like the New Year setup videos. I actually didn't even put my budget video on here, but that's like a New Year um, set up as well because I have to think about my sinking funds and setting up all of the initial paperwork at the beginning of the planner. So that's a video I want to start filming and I'd rather have those videos filmed sooner rather than later because I don't know how the next couple months are going to go. But I do want to start going through all of the kids clothes I have in the basement. Literally I've got like 25 boxes or 30 boxes right now um, of just my daughter's clothes. But what I did is I stuffed a whole bunch of unisex stuff in there as well that I knew I'd have if I were to have another baby and I just haven't gone through it yet. So I have to go through all of that stuff. I've only gone through one box so far of the zero to three month stuff. Took out a whole bunch of baby stuff. So like at the baby shower, I said no baby clothes because I had everything I need. Like my grandma brought a few things, which I don't really need. So I feel I felt I didn't want to say, oh, I don't need this because I already have everything. But um, I accepted it as graciously as I could. I just I literally have no more room either because we don't have enough room in our house to have like another dresser for the baby. So right now everything's stuffed into a Rubbermaid container. So it's not ideal. But I literally, even if I could get a dresser, I don't have the room to put a dresser in my house. Like it would literally have to go in front of my dresser in my room in, in front of my dresser which is obviously not going to work because I wouldn't have access to my clothes so <laughs> so we're just uh, fighting for space in our small house we have 500 square feet on our, our upstairs floor and then 500 square feet on our main living room floor not like not tons of room and we just have to make do the best as we can so that being said, I'm trying to think of anything else I can add to this, but I did put the priorities on here. I do need to get that whooping cough vaccine done. So I, I might, if I have time to go this week, I probably won't. I don't know how it really works. I think it's like a prescription so you can go to the pharmacy. So even if I could do it this weekend before this compass card even starts, that might be beneficial. But I do want to get that done before I have my appointment on the 18th, which is, I wrote that down under health. As you can see, I'm focusing on on health up here as well. I put whooping cough in water because water I really need to start focusing on. It's like a habit, right? So the more you drink, like if you drink consistently all the water you need, um, especially when it comes time for me to breastfeed because I need to keep up my supply and the only way to do that is to stay hydrated. Um, I want to make that a habit and focus on that. So I'm going to put this back in my little protective plastic thing here. I'll put this back under the day and then we'll take a look at what next we have to do. So I will be using some repeat stickers to plan the week because I figured like I'm using all of these special kits in my Erin Condren. Um, I'm going to link yesterday's video. It, it actually posted today, uh, which is Friday, but I'll link that video for you guys if you want to check it out. It's a quick eight minute video. I did a voiceover for I find it's just so much easier. I'm going to use as many of these stickers as I can, probably use them next week as well, just to kind of keep myself organized, but also so I don't waste them because I don't want to just like have them in a binder and then forget about them and then years later come back and be like oh I have to still use those so we reviewed the goals we looked at the calendar we looked at the master tasks I set new goals and now we can schedule the week so when I schedule the week you'll see me go back like on the side I kind of look at the, the calendar again and I just kind of add 
everything that I think I can get done this week. Honestly, guys, half the time, like if I look at this one, this is all the stuff I got done so far. On here is the stuff I know for sure that will be done or the stuff that's scheduled to be done. So for sure, like I get my work done throughout the week. For sure, I go to my scheduled appointments or birthday party things that I need to attend. But then this stuff is like even though it's called a priority list, I sometimes don't get to it, right? Like it just happens. It's kind of the way it goes. But I did manage to cut my son's hair and I did manage to deposit all of the money from all of our piggy banks. I took my husband's and mine, which I haven't done since we started. I did that yesterday. So I'm really proud of that. It took a while to count it all up and add it. And then I just took it in, but I'm glad it's done. And now I don't have to worry about it. So I know exactly how much I have. I just have to look at my accounts. So when I go do my budget closeout for November, I know. And unfortunately this week, because it was a small paycheck, I did not have the money to save to add to our savings, but I will be doing it hopefully again next week. So anyway, let's get started on the weekly.
<clears throat> all right guys so i think that's it i was interrupted a lot by my daughter um so this was seemed to be very hard first of all i'm really proud of myself because i was able to use up like was it four or five of the sticker sheets out of the seven or eight i had so i've only got three left and of those three there's hardly any left i'll try to finish those next time and um, i also have some of the kit Shh, I'm talking. I'm filming. Shh. I also still have some of the kit I use this week too. So um, there's actually tons in that kit. But anyway, this looks like a mess. It looks not as organized as I'd hoped, but I do have a lot going on. So the main stuff here is good. Um, I did put all of my videos with these like scribbly stickers, which are kind of cute. Um, but there probably will be more videos coming. So my son doesn't have school those two days it's hard for me to film like when my kids are here like I mean if you guys have kids young kids you can relate right because like you can't put them in a room and close the door so yeah so it's it's really difficult because my daughter has transitioned from out of naps and it's just really really hard so what I did is all the stuff that I know I have to get done on a certain day I put it here like I said before and then um this is stuff that I want to work I love on you, Mama. I love you too baby and then this Mommy. is stuff I want to clean and then I put a video, this is stuff, all of the videos that I want to work on or start filming. So if I have extra time, um, the only pretty much good time that I have is once my daughter goes to sleep and that's about seven o'clock. She doesn't always make it to bed at seven. Um, there's lots of things that happen in between. Sometimes she'll have a bath. My son will have a bath. Um, my husband FaceTimes us when he's done work. So that sometimes plays a role in what time I get her to sleep. So it's really difficult. And honestly, guys, because of the way I'm feeling at the end of the night, by the time I'm ready to like film, all I want to do is go to bed. So it's been super, super hard. And um, I wish I had more support at this time, but I don't. And it's, you know, it is what it is. Like you, when, when you come to a situation that you just figure out, you're like, okay, I don't have a choice. You just have to do what you have to do. But trying to run my full-time business, it is hard, especially with the kids. And things are going to be crazy when there's a baby here too. So I'm just going to try to do the best that I can. And hopefully you guys will stay along with me for the ride. So I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Let's quickly put this stuff away before we say our goodbyes. So... Um, I have been differentiating my weeks with this little like post-it tab. This is on the current week. This is my son's word list that we've been working on. Um, just kind of like practicing all of his words because his teacher did a an assessment. And actually his teacher yesterday was her last day. She's officially on maternity leave herself. Um, she has some um, health issues with her pregnancy, unfortunately. So she is only 32 weeks pregnant, but she will be on bed rest for the rest of her term until like as long as she can hold the baby. So um, unfortunately, like all the kids loved her and she is no longer there. So now there's this new teacher taking over. So I haven't really met him and I don't really know how that's going to work or how it's going to look like because I was getting a pretty good email rapport with the current teacher um so we're gonna see because i've been really having to work with connor with his words and like his math and stuff so um we'll just kind of see how it goes but i do have a spot for that here as well so i'm gonna put my card back and yeah i really i really appreciate you guys watching these videos if you guys have any suggestions for me oh one thing i forgot to mention is i have a franklin haul coming i know i just had a haul i had a haul in november and I was, or was it in October? I can't remember. But I had um, talked about, it was this binder. So I had ordered my Tyler binder, right? Um, and I love this binder. I like it because it's so easy to close. It's not even like my Aspen binder, which sometimes I struggle to close. Like it's so, I've got so much stuff inside my planner that um, I struggle with closing my binder but this one has been a dream like I love this binder I'm in love with it but they have a whole bunch of new binders so if you guys haven't actually checked out Franklin Covey website uh, I don't have the newest binders linked on my descriptions or my links down below but I think I'll try to add them to this video and uh, you guys can go and check them out I do have I ordered I ordered some stuff I'll share it with you I'll share it with you guys when it comes in. It'll probably be like next week or maybe the beginning of the week after. I don't know. Um, and again, it's it's part of like going to be part of my planning process for 2023. And I don't really know how I'll incorporate it. So you get into this trap because I know I love Franklin. I know I'm going to stay with Franklin, but 
I get into this trap of wanting to switch things up. And while it's, it's not specifically tailored, like it's not like an Agendio insert. I'm just trying to stay away from Agendio because my problem is, isn't that the products aren't tailored exactly to my needs. It's that I get bored super fast. So I really like switching out colors. I like switching out different products. And so I have like, as I showed you guys in the last Franklin haul, I actually have my seven habits insert. So that was like my main inserts. Well, I do have January to June of my seasons left as well. So every time I get bored, usually I switch out every different month. Um, so say for January, I might use a particular insert, probably my seven habits. And then for February, I might be using something else because I may have ordered another set of inserts down to pages from Franklin um, just because I have certain ideas and I like to change it according to the binders I use too. So if like, I mean, the seven habits don't really go with like a, a pink binder per se, you know what I mean? So um, it sounds excessive, yes, but if it's going to keep my, me happy and it's going to keep me planning in the same product, I want to continue doing that. And also it helps for me to use those products so I can share it with you guys and you guys can see how they function, how they work, how they work for your life. Um, everybody uses these inserts differently. I recently had a comment about um, how I use, so I do have like my monthly schedule. I've got my future log, of course. Then I've got my monthly schedule. I use two different months because I've really been loving the Teresa Collins first off. Like that's been something that I've really been enjoying. And I do have, I do have those again. So, um, I'm pretty sure the monthly, the monthlies came with the weeklies. I have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure I have that. So I, I've been loving this lately again. I first, when I first got them, I used them all the time and then I stopped for a while. But I also enjoy using, like I use a separate calendar to put my, my YouTube stats on. And then um, I like having a calendar for all of my family stuff, right? I have been using the cloth and paper inserts for my business, but as of January, they might change that again, right? They might not have those cloth and paper inserts. So if that's the case, I'll be putting my work stuff back onto my main my main calendar. That's something I have to think about as well. So then I go into my weeklies and then I have like my task list of what needs to be done for the week, my weekly list, which I still like to maintain. And then I, of course I go into my dailies. So um, I usually have lots of notes to write. Like lately I haven't had too, too much, but I mean, I still like to, to write a few things on there. So I'll just kind of share all that with you and I I just like having the availability even if I don't actually use it every single week every single day I like the fact that it's there because it kind of gives me reassurance and if I do have something come up I can write it down um, and that's just kind of how I like to plan and everybody plans different and that's okay too but maybe watching me will give you some ideas which is kind of what I do this for so anyway I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you're new here please consider subscribing click on the bell button and I will see you guys next week happy planning bye now